question. That also you have rejected to say. Okay, I am the other. So ultimately, neeti neeti elevation of process. After that, I am the self aware. I thought this one way. So then another thing I will teach you in maybe one or two processes, where even the object is there, then how how to how to make it into subject. You have to observe the object into subject. Objects present such not effective. That's another uh, this thing. So these are basic. Then the variation is just methodology. Okay, either you reject all the objects and come back to subject. Or include all the objects and make into a subject. What can these things be done while you are transacting in the world? No, no. See, please understand. The transaction is a role. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, this one. See when you are saying the transacting in the world, see then this, this this thing you progress. The world is unreal of name and form. The gradually the world itself becomes Brahman. The world and Brahman are not be different. Okay. Then when you say you, there is no you. That illusion to you disappears. So then the question doesn't arise: Can I transact or can I don't transact? The can I transact or transact don't transact is coming from the ego point of view. The ego has to be fully dissolved. That's all we we can do. That's a sadhana. Now, if you ask me, what do I do with this ego? The answer is not adhyatmic. It is a more of a uh, social and uh, practical. Okay, that I can give an answer from dharmic point of view. It's a lower level viewpoint. So as the ego starts dropping, okay, what will happen to you? I'll tell you. Okay, now. Your worldly transaction may completely stop altogether also. Okay, we can't say, or it can be more also, depending on your residual part of the karma in the body. That's dependent not on you, ego. Okay, now ego wants to take control of situation, and I want to control this. So what remains after that is residual part of the karma, which is beyond enlightenment. So there you don't have control. There's nobody in charge of that. It is just happening. For example, I am teaching. I am not in charge of this. It has to happen. In fact, I, if I, the ego has a choice, I would rather prefer to sit comfortably and silently rather than do the teaching. Okay. Now I need to get social interaction because teaching has to happen. That's all. There is no individual choice there. So you come to a point where individual choices become irrelevant. Okay. Till that point, the question of individual choice is always there. And as long as the individual choice is there, the ego is always active. And you have to transcend that point where the individual choices are not relevant. Then you don't have the question. Neither answer is there, because there is no individual who is asking the question. Neither answer is there, right? Otherwise, everything is just a ego-based learning. Do this, don't do this. The hand like this. This is ego-based learning. But we are not discussing that. We are actually how to under. We are trying to see get over this business called ego, right? So uh, what happens after that? If your question is, I would say. In the best case, uh, in one case, uh, there are two paths. In one path, you will get into total silence, where you don't get in, in, involved in any social transaction. You become social recluse. That's also a possibility. Or in another path, you become socially very active, where you are helping and serving. Okay. So these are the two possibilities, but that is not depend on you as the ego. That is a residual part of the body, and it's not individual part of the. Huh. All right. So they are different. Now, in between, if you have a question about that, that is the ego-based question. The answer can be ego-based answer, which is just satisfy you, but it is not real answer. Guruji, so are you saying that the universe is deterministic? Universe is. If you read, I mean, you read that uh, book written by Stephen Hawking. Uh, have you read that? Well, brief history of time. No, he has written a thirty-page article. Uh, how everything in the universe is predetermined. Quantum mechanics says that it's probabilistic. Is quantum mechanics real? Is probability real? Then mm -hmm. we, then we can say that whatever Stephen Hawking said is also not real, right? Right. Yeah. So we cannot say any concept about universe is still a question mark remains. Is probability deterministic or deterministic? But only thing we can say with certainty is I exist. Existence is real. Yeah. Understand? Existence alone cannot be questioned. 
everything else and everything else pen can be question everything else is a concept mm -hmm. okay right yeah okay so the concept of the world as unreal are deterministic i'll in uh, one of this discussions will come out why it is so why that is said like that okay. if it doesn't come you just ask me okay. okay so because everything is depend on the perception everything is relative determinism is a perception non determinism is a perception it depends on your view point where you stand if you take absolute view point there's no universe you understand you can take a different view point at different things okay. if, if we stay in the relative plane we can always debate if the universe is relativistic or not i mean deterministic or not but there is no question of that when we go into the absolute plane the question and answer both disappear in the absolute plane okay, okay? in the relative plane whatever you discuss about the absolute is yeah. half truth or partial truth okay and none of the theories are valid mm. okay okay <laughs> but they are practical they are useful right okay. so at certain point in our existence you understand what is determinism and what is not determinism but there's a view point okay. but there's not anything absolute absolute is you have to prove that view point also okay what is everything you say about the universe is a model and model is not a reality and each model has a utility but not absolute right it will help you the spiritual seekers to go in certain direction when you understand its deterministic okay but is it real it's not the false false imagination it's a model of that Right. Huh? Model means. E is equal to m c square. What does it mean? Show me energy. Show me mass. Show me light of velocity of light. <laughs> It's a way to communicate to you. Everything in physics is essentially we are just modeling things. A model is never a replica of reality. No model can replicate reality. It can point out some characteristic of the reality. Absolute has no characteristic because it is inclusive of everything. said that the only thing we can be um, you know, sure of is that i exist ha huh? so why does that make the universe why does why do we, then if i exist is the only thing that we can say with conviction then why is the universe unreal i mean why does why does the universe not exist no i didn't say exist right? whatever you view point you take depends on where you stand if you stand on top of himalayas the road doesn't exist If you stand near the road, the Himalayas top doesn't exist. It's all viewpoint where you stand. If you take absolute viewpoint, nothing exists. It's not that it doesn't exist. No, it's that I can't see it. If you can't see it, doesn't exist. If I see it, and you believe me, believe me. Ultimately, it should be your experience. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so I tell you, there is something X Y Z is there. So how does it matter to you? Ultimately, it has to become your experience and your peace. until it's my experience it can be like it either exists or doesn't exist do it right now if you can it exists for no no adam says if you are comfortable with that you to be that i am trying today there's a way of become this uncomfort in life there's a way of getting out of uncomfort understanding absolute view point so if you are comfort, comfortable with the that uh, what you call as uh, what that fuzzy logic possible not possible you stay there all right it's nobody nobody is forcing you that this is the right This is a possibility which is giving peace to many people. So now, if you want to explore the possibility, go. If you say no, no, this is the possibility. You say tomorrow you come back and say that uh, you know uh, the Atma doesn't exist. Only universe exists. Also, it's okay. There will be some people listen to that also. <laughs> that's why that's such a, such special philosophy is called Charvaka. They are also there. They respect them also. They say this is peaceful for me. I don't have to bother about Atma. I am fine. It's okay, be. But then, what is the truth? The truth cannot be defined. The moment you utter the truth, it becomes untruth. Because concept is about it. Okay. How can you talk anything about absolute? Tell me. What model you can give about absolute? A part of the system can it tell about something about whole system? Hmm. No, but uh, in uh, electrical engineering there is something.
something called as Nyquist sampling theorem. That all works in the electrical engineering. <laughs> in biology, it doesn't work. Where, where, you <laughs> where you can reproduce the whole signal by just sampling at twice the rate or more than that. It is, there is a lot of noise in that, okay? Okay. In the Nyquist rate, whatever you sample, still there is a noisy. Okay. It's not whole signal, it's not a original signal. It is a noisy signal to noise ratio will be there. Okay. Right? You are trying to minimize the signal ratio, you are not limiting the noise. Uh, SNR is from the black box, right? Or whatever machine you are sampling. Mm -hmm. But the theory of sampling itself. No, that's something. Theory of sampling, here mm -hmm. also, with sampling you can understand certain characteristic of the universe. Okay. Because it's objective. Subject can never be sampled. That's the whole point. <laughs> 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 you, I am perfectly with you when you say object can be sampled. Okay. How can you sample the subject? You tell me. How, where you slice and dice it? You can't. <laughs> That's the whole point. That's why the physics is a dead end of physics. <laughs> 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 so I am talking beyond physics, okay? And Nobel will give you a Nobel Prize for me. <laughs> One day you may get it because if you put this theory into some model and say physics is dead end of physics, you will get money. <laughs> It's actually nightmare of physics. <laughs> I'll tell you what our physics say about this whole thing, okay? Huh. They say, uh, after uh, listening, after understanding Vedanta, I'm, I'm, my whole career is go gone. 30 years I've been searching for reality and I've really understood it's a shadow. <laughs> it's okay. Shadow is also okay. It looks nice, no? the shadow plays there. <laughs> some dance and some music will be there. It's okay, enjoyable. But as long as you understand it's shadow, it's fine. But the moment you think it's a reality, then you're in problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dance is nice. Okay? Life is nice. Life is wonderful. Life is a joy. But because we take it seriously and real, then we are in trouble. Okay? So, Madam, Dharpana Prakriti, you are the Guru Pundi, but many people don't know it. Okay. Allah, Hudgi Nodilo, the bear. Hello, what's up? This Prakriya is only new. Okay. 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 See, he has become so alert. <laughs> Your Shiram, you can see life. So much. Now he is not questioning. What is it? <laughs> see, I also understand it with Maya. Okay? I also can create Maya. <laughs> okay? So. <laughs> Some of them are saying, Guruji is showing that lady and says Nididhyasa. <laughs> 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 so my whole idea is, anything you see in life, mirror you see, ocean you see, or whatever, Nididhyasa. You see ladies and you should interpret Nididhyasa. <laughs> Every object in the world should become Atmatana. <laughs> You are like a hanger cigar, Kiwi, Kiwi, but the Kanadi Mundan, Atma Dana and Purple. That is the purpose. So, I want to make sure that every aspect of your life, our smallest thing also becomes Atma Dana. Kanadi Mundan, but then you get guilt from Abago. I was guilt, Kanadi Mundan, Nano, Eda, 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 <laughs> Everything should point out to Atma. <laughs> That's all for the huh? <laughs>